Hello, welcome to Arinsing Academy and we are going to discuss today uh, limits and derivatives. We have, this is the lecture number 6, I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 5 before watching this part 6. In this lecture we are going to discuss some problems related to uh, differentiation. So let us start without wasting time. First few questions has been already discussed from this exercise that is 13.2 and now let us discuss the uh, rest of them. So starting from question number 7, we have question number 7 is for some constants A and B, for some constants A and B, find the derivative of find the derivative of derivative of the following following questions there are some questions and we are discussing as i said exercise 13.2 right so question number 7 is there and seventh question is uh, the first question so first part of the question is x minus a and x minus b we have to find derivative of this with respect to x so we can say uh, dy dx of dy dx of x minus a and x minus b there is a product of two functions so we can take it as first function as it is as according to formula dy dx of second one plus sign second function as it is and derivative of first one uh, like this you can take it any one of them first and second so there is no specific first and second you can uh, take any one of them as first and the rest of them as second now dy dx of x is 1 and dy dx of b b is constant so it would be 0 Similarly, here x minus b and uh, d by dx of x that is 1, dx by dx is 1 and uh, derivative of a with respect to x is 0. So, the answer is x minus a plus x minus b, x minus a plus x minus b that is 2x minus a minus b and that will be the answer of this question. This can be also uh, solved by using a different method that is method 2 uh, you can do that you can multiply them and uh, derivative of dy dx of x minus a and x minus b and that can be written as dy dx of this product can be x square minus ax minus bx plus ab isn't it now derivative of dy dx of x square right minus dy dx of ax and uh, minus dy dx of bx and then plus dy dx of ab right so we can do that like uh, a derivative of x square is 2x derivative of x a will come out and dx by dx is 1 and similarly b will come out of it and dx by dx is 1 and this is constant so derivative of that is 0. So finally the same answer is there so you can do that even by using this one. Now second part of the question is so either you can use product rule or you can do it by uh, this way. So second question is given that ax square plus b whole square and uh, this is the question second part so we can use it here also we can do this dy dx of a x square plus b whole square whole square means there is product of two times a x square plus b so either you can use product rule or you can multiply them right and you can do that again so we will if you multiply this this will be dy dx of what will happen? A x square is a square x core plus this will be 2 a b x square plus b square isn't it? So we will write it uh, derivative of all this can be obtained that dy dx of a square x core plus dy dx of uh, 2 a b x square 
plus d by dx of b square, isn't it? So we can do it again like uh, this is what a square and d by dx of x to the power 4. Uh, similarly, 2ab will come out and d by dx of x square, isn't it? And this will be 0. So finally, derivative of ax4 is 4x cube. So 4x cube and a square is already there plus derivative of x square is 2x. So that is 2x and this is 0. So it will be 4x cube into that will be 4x cube a square plus 4ab 4abx. If I take 4a common then what will happen? 4ax common, we can take it 4ax common and then 4ax and then what will happen? Uh, it will be left here uh, ax square plus 4ax I have taken common so it will be b and that will be the answer of this question. Now consider the third part of this question, uh, considering third part of this question. And the third part is x by a upon x by b. So we have to uh, find the derivative of this. So we can apply quotient rule, and therefore uh, d by dx of x minus a upon x minus b. That is x minus b additive derivative of x minus a minus x minus a additive derivative of x minus b and whole divided by x minus b whole square. This is the formula. So we can write it here x minus b and a derivative of x with respect to x is 1 minus 0 that is 1 x minus a again here 1 minus 0 that is 1 and divided by x minus b whole square. So that will be x minus b minus x plus a divided by x minus b whole square. So x and x cancels and that will left out a minus b upon x minus b whole square and that will be the answer of this question. So hopefully uh, you got it and uh, you will be able to solve it. Now let us discuss question number 8. Find derivative of, find derivative of, the derivative of of x minus a a minus n upon x minus a for some constant a for some constant a so we have to deal with d by dx of x to the power n minus a to the power n upon x minus a we can use quotient formula so x minus a as it is d by dx of x to the power n minus a to the power n minus x to the power n minus a to the power n into dy dx of x minus a and whole divided by denominator square that is x minus a whole square. So we can deal with here what will happen x minus a and derivative of x to the power n is n x to the power n minus 1 minus 0, right? Derivative of x to the power n minus 1 minus 0 minus x to the power n minus a to the power n and derivative of x is 1 minus 0 whole divided by x minus a whole square. So we can deal with at this by using multiplication. So x multiply by x to the power n minus 1 that will be n x to the power n minus a into n x to the power n minus 1 minus uh, this is x to the power n plus a to the power n whole divided by x minus a whole square and that is nothing else but here n minus 1 into x to the power n and uh, a to the power a I can take common again 
from these two. So if I take two k common, then this will be a to the power n minus one a to the power n minus one minus n. Let me cancel this right here. Denominator will be too long. So here I can write it that uh, n minus one x to the power n minus a to the power n plus a to the power n minus a n a x to the power n minus 1 and upon x minus a whole square. You can put common. Now let us discuss question number 9 and question number 9 is find the derivative of the following. Derivative of the following. Following. And there are also sub questions. First part of this questions are several parts. So d by dx of 2x minus 3 that you have to calculate. So d by dx of 2x minus d by dx of 3. So 2x 2 will come outside and dx by dx is 1 and this is 0. So 2 will be answered. So this is the first part. Now second part of this question is here. And this second derivative of we have to calculate d by dx of 5x cube minus plus 3x minus 1 plus 3x minus 1. So we can take it as 5 will be out and d by dx of x cube plus 3 will be taken out into d by dx of 1 minus d by dx of 1. So it will be uh, 5x cube. So that will be 5 into 3x square plus 3 into 1 minus 0 that is 15x square plus 3 that will be answer. Now the third one is we can take it like third one and third one is x to the power d by dx of x to the power minus 3 into 5 plus 3x. So this can be written as also uh, you can use product rule, but you can multiply them d by dx of uh, d by dx of what this can be written as 5 of x to the power minus 3 plus 3 into x to the power minus 2 like this and this can be also written as 5 into d by dx of x cube minus 3 plus 3 into dy dx of x to the power minus 2. Okay, so that will come up here like uh, 5 into minus 3 x to the power minus 4 plus 3 into minus 2 x to the power minus 2 minus 1 that is minus 3. So clearly it will be like uh, 5 3 of 15 x to the power minus 4 minus 6 x to the power minus 3 that will be answer or even you can take it like x to the power minus 4 common then in that case 3x to the power minus 4 if i took common then what will it here 5 minus when including minus if i have taken common then it will left minus 5 and this will be plus 2 into x square 2 into x not x square but x 2x because x to the power 4 has been taken common. So that can be written as 2x plus 5 minus 3 divided by x4 and that will be the answer of this question. So we can write like this minus 3 2x plus 5 divided by x to the power 4 and that will be the answer of this question. So hopefully you got it. Now the next question is question number uh, part 3. Part 3 I did it and uh, sorry second question uh, was like this. Uh, I am doing it again because I forget that there is some product also. 3x minus 1 into x minus 1 this is so here we can apply product code this is the actual question and i did something different this part only so let me do it again so this is a question and uh, 
we can use product rule 5x cube plus 3x minus 1 into dy dx of x minus 1 plus x minus 1 as it is and dy dx of 5x cube minus plus 3x minus 1 okay so we can have uh, the solution will be like 5x cube plus 3x minus 1 into derivative of x is 1 and const derivative of 1 is 0 plus x minus 1 into 5 3 of 15 x square plus 3 we did it earlier also so this will be 5x cube plus 3x minus 1 plus 15 x cube because multiply with this that is 3x minus 15 x square minus 3 so that will be 15 plus 5 20 x cube and 3x plus minus 15 x square 3x plus 3x is 6 minus 4 and that will be answer of this question so don't worry about that uh, i'm sorry uh, we did uh, we have taken the different questions as instead of this question number four and question number four is here this is a question question number part four part four of this that is uh, d by dx of we have to calculate x to the power five into three minus six x to the power minus nine minus nine so we can multiply this d by dx of 3x to the power 5 minus 6x to the power minus 4 like this so we can do that even we can apply product rule here also but uh, if you multiply this it will be easy. d by dx of 3x to the power 5 minus d by dx of 6x to the power minus 4 so that will come 3 times of dy dx of x to the power 5 minus 6 will come outside and dy dx of x to the power minus 4. So it will be like uh, 3 into 5 x to the power 4 minus 6 into minus 4 x to the power minus 5. So that will be 15 x to the power 4 minus 6 4 are 24 x to the power minus 5. Now let us solve part 5 and 5 h here that d by dx of means derivative of that we have to calculate x to the power minus 4 into 3 uh, minus 4 x to the power minus 5 like this. So this is a question and uh, here what we have to do is uh, this one. So that will be d by dx of Again, I can write it 3x to the power minus 4 minus 4x to the power minus 9. And uh, we can solve it by using the same formula. 3 minus 4, 3 will be taken outside and x to the power minus 4 will be applying formula nx to the power n minus 1. So that is minus 5, 4 into minus 9x to the power minus 10. So that will be minus 12 x to the power minus 5 plus 36 x to the power minus 10 and that will be answered. Even you can take common like uh, x to the power minus 10, 12 x to the power minus 10. Then in that case what will be left here? 3 and minus 12 I have taken common so x to the power plus 5 positive 5 right now. So that will be answered. So you can do this or even you can write it 12 3 minus x to the power 5 divided by x to the power 10. That will be answered also. So you can do it anyway. Uh, there is no problem. You can do it by using product rule or by multiplying it themselves. There will be no problem at all. Now question number 6 is there and 6 question is uh, given that d by dx of it is like uh, 2 upon x plus 1 minus x square upon 3x minus 1. So we can take it like uh, d by dx of 2 upon x plus 1 like this minus d by dx of 
x square upon 3x minus 1. So again, we can have uh, 2 is common and uh, we will do it like 2 into derivative of 1 by x that is d by dx of 1 upon x plus 1 derivative it is similar like derivative of 1 plus x you got it now so you can use it product rule also there is no problem and here uh, that will be minus uh, product rule can be used so 3x minus 1 into d by dx of x square minus x square into d by dx of 3x minus 1 isn't it d by dx of 3x minus 1 whole divided by 3x minus 1 whole square similarly here if you will uh, use product rule also then uh, you will get uh, minus 1 upon x square 2 into minus 1 upon x plus 1 whole square and that will be minus derivative of x square is 2x so x 3x minus 1 into 2x minus x square so after simplifying we will uh, get an answer now the next question is and question number that is i am taking here question number 10 and question number 10 is there that uh, 